continue to remember the anniversary of September 11th. One Wilmington couple's attempt at respect fell victim to vandals. The business owners say they cannot believe someone set fire to their American flag. WWAY's Asha DeVay has this story you'll see only on three. To honor those who gave their lives on September 11th, 2001, Jason and Jennifer Saucier hung an American flag outside of their business. Two days later, they came back to find their proud display of patriotism charred and smoldering on the ground. This is American soil, so who's doing this? Americans. What kind of American burns an American flag at a business? This is not a political rally or something. This is, this is my place of business that I worked hard to, to create. Jason Saucier and his wife Jennifer own Prima Day Spa in Wilmington. They are proud Americans who say they just wanted to show their respect for our country. Jennifer said at first she could not believe what she saw. I just drove up this morning and it was singed, gone. I'm just sick. It's just, I don't, I don't know what to say, it's just so disrespectful. And uh, I'd like, on the way over here I was thinking, well, you know, I'm trying to make the best of this and I'm thinking, well, maybe it's just kids. But then I think, who's influencing the kids? The Sauciers say they're shocked that someone would burn their attempt to honor the flag and those who have fallen for it. But they refuse to let it break their American spirit. I'm not going to be intimidated you know, by somebody burning a flag, a childish gesture. I'm just going to put my new flag up and let that sit for a while. Hoping that nothing like this will ever happen again. Jennifer says there are no surveillance cameras on their building, but the Sauciers hope cameras across the street in Target's parking lot caught whoever is responsible. In Wilmington, Asha DeVay, WWAY, News Channel 3. The Sauciers say they have many friends who serve or have served in the military. They hope that something like this never happens again.